This is navigation two, question three. So what we're finding out up the top here, fix the positions of yachts near the finish of the Sydney to Hobart yacht race using these bearings from the Southeast Tasmania chart below. Okay, so we have lots and lots of boats in the Sydney to Hobart yacht race, and sometimes we can actually even hear the bearings being read out over the radio. So one boat says that's boat number A says the lights on Shooton Island and Maria Island have bearings of 319 degrees and 275 degrees respectively. Respectively means that Shooton Island is 319 degrees, Maria Island 275 degrees. So our first chart, our first task then is to find Shooton Island and Maria Island. So on our map, most of the island names have, have been, uh, have got a square around it. Up here, Shooton Island. So that's Shooton Island and mistaken Cape Maria Island. So this is Maria Island, Shooton Island and Maria Island. So the lights on Shooton Island and Maria Island. So on this map somewhere will be a designation of a lighthouse and that's this designation right here. So a star with a big um, oblong conical shape sticking out. So that's the lighthouse. So we have a point here and a point here that we're going to use as these references. So the lights on Shooton Island have a bearing of 319 degrees. So what we do here is down the bottom use our compass rose. Just move that up a bit. Our compass rose, if we were in the middle of the compass rose, all of the degrees and the bearings around the outside um, will be accurate. And so with our rolling ruler, what we need to do is move our rolling ruler so part of the rolling ruler goes through the centre of the compass rose and the other section is going to go through 319 degrees because that's what we want. So the first part, there's 320 degrees there, move around about to there, 319 degrees. Now, it's quite important, the way the rolling ruler works is that you need to make sure that it rolls parallel like that so it actually will keep parallel lines because what we eventually want is a parallel line parallel to 319 degrees because that would be 319 degrees that way, that would be 319 degrees that way and so forth. Got to make sure we move it so it's clear of any obstacles. I'll once again realign it midpoint through to 319. I roll my rolling ruler up until part of the roller, rolling ruler goes through our lighthouse. So therefore we have a line extending like that. So somewhere on that line we are because we see Shooton Island's lighthouse at a bearing of 319 degrees. So the next one, 275 degrees, is the Maria Island lighthouse. Down to the bottom again, find 275 degrees, 270, so that's 275, 275 through the middle of the compass rose. Once again, hold down the rolling section so it stays nice and steady. Looks like the ruler is actually off the edge of the table, so I'll need to redo that again. through the middle and through 275 degrees, hold my ruler, roll it up until part of the ruler goes through that lighthouse. Now I'm running out of ruler, but now that I've got part of the line I should be able to just extend that line fairly easily. Okay, Where the two lines intersect that's where our first position is. So that is boat A up there. The next one. Boat B has Betsy Island has a bearing of 340 degrees. Cape Raoul has a bearing of 46 degrees. And Fluted Cape has a bearing of 281 degrees. So in this case we have three bearings. So hopefully all three bearings will converge on the same exact point. So let's see, Betsy Island has a bearing of 340 degrees. Betsy Island, Betsy Island right here. So that's our first one. Now it says it's just the island itself. It doesn't look like there's a lighthouse on it. 
So we're going to use this whole shape. So it's not the most ideal, but it's going to be okay for us for now. Cape Raoul has a bearing of 46 degrees, so we must be somewhere, so we can see Cape, um, Betsy Island, so we should be somewhere in here. Here we have Cape Raoul, so there's the end of the Cape, and we say that has a bearing of 46 degrees, and Fluted Cape has a bearing of 281 degrees. So over here, right down the bottom here, is Fluted Cape. So we have 0.1 Fluted Cape, Cape Raoul, and Betsy Island. Okay, we may as well do them in order that we got them in. So Betsy Island has a bearing of 340 degrees. Once again, our rolling ruler through the middle of the compass rows, going through 340 degrees. There we go. Rolling back until we get to Betsy Island. I kind of moved it a bit out of the way, so I need to redo that. If at any point you feel that the rolling ruler is not rolling parallel, stop and redo it. So the second one, then, Cape Royal has a bearing of 46 degrees. So through our centre, through to 46 degrees here. Through to Cape Royal. So even with two lines, we now have in, an intersection. So we know we should be somewhere close to this. But we've been given three. So fluted cape has a bearing of 281 degrees. So therefore 281 degrees. We're in the middle here. 270 would be there. 281 would be right about there. I'll move that up a bit. 281. Roll down. Once again, I've gone off the edge of the table, so I'll move it right up. I might even be able to bring it over a bit. Through 281, roll it down until it gets to fluted cape, and draw a line. Okay, now our last line didn't go through the middle of our intersection. Okay. So what we have is, if I extend this one out a bit further, we have what's called a cocked hat, which is this area in here. All of this area in here, our boat could be. Now, because we have those three bearings, um, that's about as accurate as we're probably going to get. And so in the very middle, absolute middle of the cocked hat is where we're expected to be. So let's just put B there, right in the middle of the cocked hat. Right, back to boat C. The Sisters has a bearing of 294 degrees and the light on Tasman Island a bearing of 238 degrees. So let's see if we can find the Sisters. Maria, Mistaken, Kate, Sugarloaf, Frederick, Hendrick, the Sisters. There we go. So there's the Sisters. And the light on Tasman Island, see, so down here is Tasman Island and that's the designation of a lighthouse. So we have our two points, now we need to find the bearings. The Sisters has a bearing of 294 degrees. Through the middle of our compass rows, find 294 degrees. There's 200, there's 300, so 294 about the middle there. And then run through the middle of the compass rows and roll that up until we get through the Sisters and draw a line. So we're somewhere out on that line. The next one then is the light on Tasman Island is a bearing of 238 degrees. So from our compass rows, find 238, 220, 230, 240. So 238 is going to be about that. Grab our rolling ruler going through the middle of the compass rows and 238. Roll until it gets parallel with the Tasman Island Lighthouse and draw a line. Since we've only been given two bearings, that's our approximate fix. So that was boat C. Next one, last one. Mistaken Cape has a bearing of 353 degrees, Sugarloaf Peak has a bearing of 307 degrees, and Cape Frederick Hendrick has a bearing of 267 degrees. Okay, so Mistaken Cape, Sugarloaf Peak, and Frederick Hendrick. 
Let's look for Mistaken Cape first. Shooting Maria, Mistaken Cape. The cape itself is the, the tip of the, of the land mass. Okay, Sugarloaf Peak has a bearing of 307 degrees. So over here, we have Sugarloaf Peak. Now, because it's a peak, it will actually be the top of the mountain. And the top of the mountain will usually be de designated as a spot. And so that's our spot there. And Cape Frederick Hendrick has a bearing of 267 degrees. Maria Island, Sugarloaf Peak. Frederick Hendrick is just there. So the tip of the cape will be at 267 degrees. Okay, so the very first one. Mistaken Cape, bearing of 353. So from our compass rose, 353 would be about there. Through the middle of the compass rose, 3353 degrees. And roll until we get... Oh, that didn't look like a very solid roll. Roll until we get parallel with Mistaken Cape and draw our line through Mistaken Cape. Next one. Sugarloaf Peak is a bearing of 307 degrees. So from our compass rose, look at 307 degrees, which is there. Through the middle, rolling until we get to Sugarloaf. And draw our line through Sugarloaf and intersecting with our original one. So we have it, an initial position of there, but since we have three bearings, we need to put in the third one as well. Cape Frederick Hendrick has a bearing of 267 degrees. So on our compass rose, 267 degrees, here's 270, minus three would be 267. Through the middle of the compass rose to 267, and we need to roll that all the way up to Frederick Hendrick. Again, my rolling lure is hitting the edge of the, the table, so I'll redo that from the middle through 267. Roll it up right at the tip of the, of the cape. I draw a line. So, what I have again is a cocked hat, this whole area here. I am somewhere in this area here, and I'm uh, that's as close as we're going to get. So I want to put a fix right in the middle of that cocked hat. So that would be boat D. So if we only have two bearings, it's where those bearings intersect that we have our boat. If we have three bearings, one, two, three, it's in the middle of the triangle that's been made by the lines from each. So this one was a cocked hat, and down in B was a cocked hat as well.